हेलो ऑल एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज चंद्रमणि पांडे एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वाचिंग माय अदर वीडियोस इन दिस वीडियो आई विल शो यू एंड टू एंड कॉन्फ़िगरेशन ऑफ माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एंट्रा कनेक्ट एंड हाउ टू कन्वर्ट योर डिवाइस फ्रॉम ऑन प्रमाइस एक्ट डायरेक्टरी टू हाइब्रिड एंट्रा आई डी डिवाइस using microsoft entra connect sync now let's see how we can install the microsoft entra connect right now i am on my domain controller which is running on windows server 32 standard evaluation edition and i am currently logged in with my global admin account and then we have to go to the entra portal so i have already opened the intune portal click on all services and then you have an option called microsoft entra it will redirect to the microsoft entra portal and within entra portal if you scroll down and click on show more and search for hybrid management expand this you we have an option called microsoft entra connect click on this and then we have to click on the manage and under manage if you scroll down we have an option called manage for on premises connect sync you have an option called download connect sync agent click on that and then we have to accept the terms and download it will take some time and now we can see that the azure ready connect.msi file now downloaded let me open the folder where it is downloaded and then we have to start installation click on the data file and then click on install and now we have to agree the license terms and privacy notice and then click on continue and under the express settings we have two option customize and use express setting we'll go with use express settings and in the connect to microsoft entra id we have to either provide the microsoft entra id hybrid identity administrator or global administrator credentials let me provide my global administrator click on next and then provide the email id click on next and in the connect to adds we have to provide the enterprise administrator account let me provide this and then password now we can see that we have two domain corp.contoso.com and contoso.com and let me click on this continue without matching all upn suffix to verify domain click on next and then click on install so while we are installing the entra connect sync if we go to the entra portal and to the connect sync can see that is saying that the connector is not installed and the last sync has never run and we can also see that the password has synchronized unable and and if we scroll down under the health and analytics we can click on this microsoft entra connect health and we can also check if there is any error in the sync we can't see anything and in the sync service we can see that we have our service name and it is showing as healthy and last update is also showing something so let me go back to the connector again and we can see that now the configuration completed successfully let me click on exit and let me reopen the azure ad connector and click on yes now we have to again configure this connector so let me click on configure and now this time we have to configure the configure device option click on next and here we have to convert a device into hybrid microsoft entra id join so we have to click on next and here we have to provide the microsoft entra id account which is automatically populated click on next now we have to again authenticate this
and now we have to select configure hybrid enter id join and click on next and now here we have to select windows 10 and later domain join devices click on this and click on next and here we have to select the forest and then authentication services is microsoft enter id here we have to add the enterprise administrator account and password click on ok now basically this step is going to create a service connection point let me show you first if you go to the adsi edit and uh, click on connect to the configuration and click ok click on this click on this and if you go to the services we can see that here we are not able to see any service connection point device registration service connection point after installing or configuring the service connection point we are able to see the, the service here let me click on next and click on configure and now we can see that the configuration completed successfully and click on exit and now if you again check the microsoft enter admin center portal and go to the microsoft enter connector and click on refresh we can see that the now sync status is showing as enabled and now if we open the adsi edit let me open this and uh, click on administrative tools go a little down and adsi edit and if we again go to connect and uh, select the configuration click ok and expand this expand this and in the services now this time we can see that we have a service called device registration configuration and if we check the properties and if you go down and check the keyword we can see that the azure ready name is equal to my tenant azure ready tenant name and here we can also see that the object category where it is talking about the service connection point and the schema so these are the two important things when we are installing the device association configuration service connection point what i am going to do i am going to quickly open the powershell as an administrator there is a command called start ad sync sync cycle and click on enter now it is automatically going to start the synchronization and we can see that the sync is also completed successfully and now if we open the enter portal and click on refresh and and if we go to the users all users we can see the synchronization is working we can see that we have some entries on premises entry like cm rsa net acc where it is showing on premises is equal to yes those all are on premises objects synchronized via connector you can see that equal as a test user 1 test user 2 all are on premises users and same thing if we go to the groups click on all groups and we can see that for some of the group source is windows server ready and the same thing if you go to the devices all devices you can see that for one device it is showing hybrid enter joint and this is my domain controller and i don't have any other device in the on premises ad that is why it is not showing here so what i'll do i'll join a windows 11 device in the on premises ad and then we will see whether it is showing as microsoft enter hybrid join or not so now i am on my client machine and if i am running a winwork command you can see that the machine is on windows 11 24 h2 and if i am opening command prompt and run a command csreg cmt backslash status you can see that domain join is equal to no and the azure ready join is also equal to no and this is the device name meha microsoft enter hybrid join demo pc and if i open a 
task scheduler and click on task scheduler library go to the microsoft and then windows expand the window and if we go down we have a task scheduler called workplace join we can see that the automatic device join status is showing as disabled device sync is also showing as disabled and the recovery check is also showing as disabled and we can also find the logging for this so if we go here we can see that the other event logging is under user device registration admin if i'm opening the event viewer go to the application and services logs expand this and click on the microsoft and then windows i'm just scroll down in the bottom we have user device registration and we can see that we have some warnings so what for now what i am going to do i am going to clear the logs so that we will have uh, some fresh logs so let me quickly add this device in the domain so settings and then go down under the about section we have domain or work group i want this machine to be in domain click on change and then click on domain and my domain name is pop.contoso.com click on okay and now here we have to provide the account through which we can join this device to domain let me provide the account and the password now the machine is added to the domain click on okay and then quickly restart the machine and now if you go to the server and open users and computers under the computer we can see that the machine is showing here okay now we have to log in to this machine and see the difference so for now what i am going to do cause my enter domain is not verified i am going to open active directory domain and trust and click on the active directory domain trust and click on the property and here we have to add the upn so my enter upn is dot on microsoft.com click add and click apply and click okay now what i am going to do i am also going to create a user for that i am going to create a user called uh, demo user 1 and in the login name just copy paste the same name and here we have to select on microsoft.com and click on next and then provide the password and click on next and click on finish now we have created a user as well as we have joined the device in on premises domain so what i am going to do again i am going to open the powershell as an administrator and then i am going to run a command start ad sync sync cycle and and click enter and now the result is also showing success if we go to the entra portal refresh the console and if you go to the users all users and search for that demo user we can see that demo user is now synced and we can also see the identity is on premises and same thing if we go to the device and search for demo we can see that mhj demo pc is also synchronized in entra portal and the join type is also showing as hybrid join and if we scroll right we can see that the registration is still showing as pending and now we have to log in to the device using the account which we created and we'll see that the changes now i am on my client pc let's log in to the account which we created and now on this machine is open the command prompt and then a command ds reg cmd backless status we can see that the device is domain join but azure rejoin is still showing no and if we now open the task scheduler and go to the task windows and go to the last and then workplace join we can see that the automatic device join type is showing as ready and we can also see some traces in the event viewer user device registration and if we click on admin 
the discovery request send operation was successful automatically device join pre-check task completed discovery request send successful workstation service logged in device registration message the initiation of join request was successful now it started registering the device in the azure and after some time we can see that the azure active directory join state is also showing as yes in the now if we again open the cmd and run a command yes red cmd xls status now we can see that do device is showing a domain join yes and the azure to directory join is also showing as yes and now if we open the event viewer and if we check that it's saying that automatic device join pre-check task completed we can see that automatic deployment pre-check task completed device is already joined and if we scroll down automatic registration completed successfully meaning that machine is now registered in the entra portal and the sync was also successful and now if we go to the entra portal and refresh the console and find the device let me go down and open the PC device we can now see that the device is showing registration completed and we are also getting the time and date one more thing just want to show you we can see that the device id starts with 46081627 if we go to the entra portal and if we go to the users and computers and if we click on the domain and go to the views and add the additional features and now if you click on the computers select the computer and then go to the properties in the attribute editor if we scroll down we can see that the object GUID is same as the entra GUID 06C0146C016 and we can also see the user certificate go down and uh, we can see the user certificate at it we can see that this is the certificate which machine received from the entra so that's all i want to show you in this video how we can join a device in microsoft entra hybrid join using the entra connect in the next video i will show you how we can enroll a device in intune using group policy i hope this is an informative video for you thank you very much for watching this video